Yeah, wasting my twenties on this god thing. That's what they tell me, like they wanna make my mind change. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Tea Times Kitchen. Before I get into this video, if you haven't already, I would like for you to click subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, I know Notification Squad, you're out there, but click the bell, get notifications, so you know when I drop videos because I'm gonna be dropping a whole lot more now, and I'm just excited for it. But with all that being said, let's get into why you guys are here. You guys are here because of this shoe right here that's in this box, and I just have a little question for you guys and why is this shoe specifically the Jordan 1 fly knit still sitting and the bread one sold out pretty much everywhere I know in Atlanta at least I could go into stores and I think they're still sitting in a couple places but this guy right here still on the sneakers app it wasn't highly coveted I was able to walk into Cumberland Mall just pick this up definitely for a review and after further review of this shoe, I think it's super dope. I think there's a multiple reasons why this is sitting. I think the bread one isn't sitting because it was the first of its kind. It was the bread. Kais got a pair. He put it out there. You know, they gave it to him and Mina for getting engaged. And I thought that helps a lot and that helped market it. And I think it was if everybody was interested on should they try a fly at Jordan 1 because that's never been done before. And, well, kind of, I think there is some shoes that kind of reminisce a Jordan 1 fly knit, but let me tell you, these guys are really comfortable, the quality is really not that bad, there's leather on the inside of this thing, and on the, it's really, like, very cushioned on the inside. Uh, I tried it on, it feels like a great shoe, oops, I moved the camera a little bit, but you probably can't see. But on the inside, let me fix that camera. See that, it says Nike Air and it's all leather on the inside. Really, really cool. And on the back of it, 1985 is when the shoe came out and that's in leather. And when you walk around these, I bet if you walked around in these all day, they'd be great. Certain Jordan ones, not with good quality, don't feel good after a long time. But these with a good quality, they do feel great. And you know what's cool too? It has like the sample number, like the size 11 and bam, right there. One cool thing too about these is the lace tips. Uh, they're like a, I don't know, they're not the metal. I feel like this is on some fly knit uh, material. It's, I can't explain what is this lace tip, but it's really, really nice. These were not limited, but they were not as GR as a lot of the Jordans have been recently. And I'm thinking, you know, these might sell out. But I think people got their hands on bread ones and they're like, these are ugly. Because I've talked to a lot of people and they're ugly and I honestly wasn't a huge fan. I'm probably honestly not going to keep these. I don't see why I would when I have a pair of Royal Ones myself. If you don't have a pair of Royal Ones and you've always, and you want something comfortable and stylish, I mean, this is a great option for 180 bucks. Specifically, if you like the old Nike swoosh look. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think. Do you think the reason why they're not selling out is because they do look ugly? Uh, I think the Primate doesn't look that good. But, you know what? Honestly, in person, this is a cool shoe. I think this is a model that will have to pick up with people. I think people will have to pick up on it, try it on themselves, and be like, this is something dope. I would like to see the red and white color. I bet you the red and white um, Jordan one and the fly knit would be great they're comfortable they can be stylish and you could wear them i feel like all the time you could walk around in them. i bet you if these were limited they might sell out and be harder to get but the fact that they're not limited and they're kind of a gr i feel like you just go in anywhere and if you still want your pair go on line sneakers app and they still have every size pretty much and i'm gonna reiterate my opinion i think these didn't because the bread ones were new and people wanted to know and try it out and after they try it out they're like oh i mean this is cool but i'm not going to pay 180 bucks box price for this when i can get 160 for a regular jordan one i do still prefer a regular jordan one but these are very comfortable so with all that being said let me know your questions down below everything that you have to say i love you i'm tea time i'm out tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Tea time.